Five years ago, a coalition of housing and neighborhood groups filed a complaint against Chicago's practice of allowing local aldermen to veto the placement of affordable housing. Last month, federal officials saying they too have concerns asked the city to act. The feds have set their sights on Chicago's use of aldermanic prerogative. Investigators with the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development say the city has wrongly limited affordable housing by allowing members of city council to reject developments in their wards. In this letter, first reported by the Chicago Sun-Times, a fair housing official writes, the city affords each of its 50 wards a local veto over proposals to build affordable housing and that many majority white wards use the local veto to block, deter, or downsize such proposals. As a result, new affordable housing is rarely, if ever, constructed in the majority white wards. HUD wants Mayor Brandon Johnson's administration to enter into talks for an informal resolution to its almost five-year probe of Chicago housing. The letter continues, by limiting the availability of affordable housing, the local veto disproportionately harms black and Hispanic households. What we've seen through our generations is that white aldermen have vetoed affordable housing in their wards, which then concentrates all affordable housing in black areas. But also it limits the number of affordable housing that can be built as well because we can't spread it out more. In 2018, 10 advocacy groups filed a complaint with HUD alleging automatic prerogative is discriminatory and violated federal civil rights laws. I hope that we can come to a real substantive agreement or settlement where we really begin to change this, or eliminate this policy, but change how affordable housing is built in Chicago so that one, it's increased, you know, dramatically, but also it's spread around the city. Rents go up and salaries don't. And that's, that's concerned. We, we in Chicago, we have, what, $15 hour minimum wage, that's what, twice the federal? But in Chicago, if you, make, if you have a full-time job, we're working 40 hours a week, you only make $2,400 a month. The average two-bedroom is $1,700. So how can you even afford to really live here? You got to work two jobs, and now if you got a family, how, are you be, how can you be there for your family? As for comment, the Johnson administration provided us with this Department of Law statement. We are always open to voluntary resolution, as evidenced by our multiple meetings with both complainants and HUD. City Council would have to decide to end aldermanic prerogative over affordable housing, and so far members have been resistant to curtail their own power. But the feds could force the city's hand by threatening to withhold HUD money. We'll see. Timon Bradley, WGN News.